Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on large V waves. Large V waves are usually found in patients with an elevated JVP. V waves will appear as a large systolic outward distension and rise of the JVP with carotid pulsation. There is usually prominent venous collapse visible after the V wave and the second heart sound then occurs. In this picture, the bottom pink line shows normal jugular venous waveform. The middle purple line shows waveform of mild tricuspid regurgitation, whereas the upper blue line shows severe TR with a large V wave. Large V waves are often associated with tricuspid regurgitation, pulmonary hypertension, and severe mitral regurgitation. For its mechanism, the height of the V wave is determined by right atrial compliance and by the volume of blood returning to the right atrium. The volume may return from the superior vena cava, or as a result of tricuspid regurgitation via an incompetent tricuspid valve. Increased right atrial blood volume, due to regurgitant flow from the right ventricle during systole, leads to increased right atrial pressure that is then transmitted up into the jugular vein, leading to the characteristic V-wave distension. In pulmonary hypertension, pressure from the pulmonary artery backs up through to the right ventricle and then the right atrium. For its sign value. The presence of large V or CV waves on clinical examination significantly supports the diagnosis of tricuspid regurgitation in one study with sensitivity 37%, specificity 97%. That's all for this video. Thank you.